Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. Free pick coming up in college basketball for Tuesday. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, first time we've talked to you since our video for Sunday Super Bowl, and we just had a tremendous Super Bowl, one of our best of the 25 plus years I've been doing this. 5-0 with premium plays. We hit the five star uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We hit our total with the under. We cashed all three premium props. And in fact, we cashed both of the free props that we posted on video uh, for Sunday. So 7-0 between free and premium plays in Sunday Super Bowl 55. And I wanted to say a heartfelt and sincere thank you to those of you who jumped on board throughout the course of the football season. Certainly appreciate you guys being on board. Uh, we finished up 20 and six with our last 26 football plays. Going back even further, we made, we made over $5,600 for those wagering just $100 per unit over the second half of the season on that run. So just a tremendous run to close the season. Can't wait to get started in football uh, in August. But uh, as far as everything else, we kicked off the new week with the three and one card on Monday. Uh, we cashed in college baskets with Kansas in the NBA with the Cavaliers plus the points. Uh, we cashed in the EPL with Leeds United. My only loss was a tough one to take with the St. Louis Blues to go four and oh and they gave up the game tying goal with less than one second left in the third period and went on to lose in a shootout. But three and one will take any day of the week. Here's what I got going on Tuesday. Star of the show for me college basketball five star play. I've also got NBA, NHL, uh, so don't miss out. We'll look to go up $5,000 for $100 per unit betters, just shy of $5,000 on our current run if we cash the five-star on Tuesday. All right, free play for me, West Virginia, Texas Tech. I'm not a big revenge guy, but in certain situations, I think it has to be factored into things. That's the case of this one. Texas Tech leading West Virginia in Morgantown in late January by 12 points with about seven minutes to go in the game. West Virginia all of a sudden can't miss miss anything. They come back. They win the game 88 to 87. Uh, they had to go 12 for 19 from the three-point line to be able to win at home against Texas Tech by one point. And West Virginia shoots the three ball pretty well, but not 63%. And that's what they did in that game to win by a point. I think Chris Beard gets his Texas Tech team focused on defending the deep perimeter because West Virginia is not great with two pointers inside the arc. And Texas Tech is fantastic defending inside the arc. Uh, they give up about 44% two point shots to their opponents. Outstanding and adjusted efficiency defense. And I think that's going to be the name of the game in this one. So we're going to reckon to play on Texas Tech minus the points on West Virginia on Tuesday. All right. Again, the star of the show for me, five-star play in the college baskets on Tuesday over at my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.